All right, so in about two days from now, Global will finally be getting the Extreme Z Awakening for the AGL LR Goten and Trunks. So in today's video, we're going to be going over all of their details as well as their Extreme Z Battle event to get you guys fully prepared. Now, before we get into it, I want to give a quick shout out to the sponsor of today's video, which is Gamersubs. If you guys would like to pick up a waifu shaker for yourselves, like this one, or try one of their many, many flavors, such as the Nuke, which is my absolute favorite, so I highly recommend that one, or the uh, Misfits Melon is really good, uh, Green Apple, Cherry Limesicle, Grenadier Grape, and so on and so forth. You got a lot of options, so make sure to head down to the link in my description and go check them out. And if you see something you like, you can use my discount code TIGER for 10% off your entire purchase. Once again, that is Gamersups and code TIGER for 10% off. Okay, so with that said, let's uh, talk about these EZAs. And the first thing I want to do is jump over to the Extreme Z Battle event. As you can see, the release date for Japan was January 6th, 2022. For us, it's going to be uh, April 20th, 2022. So once again, in about two days from now, the weakness or the effective link, I guess, would be Legendary Power, just like all of the other LR Extreme Z battles. And the effective category is the Gifted Warriors category team. So obviously, when you're running this event, you want to include as many Gifted Warriors units with the Legendary Power link as you possibly can. And from there, we have the standard 10 stages. And for every stage, you're going to be getting three stones as well as a bunch of AGL orbs, the Extreme Z Awakening medals for the LR Goten and Trunks, and also some AGL Supreme Kai's along the way. And once you complete all 10 levels, you'll have all of the Extreme Z Awakening medals you need for the LR. You'll get five uh, AGL Grand Kai's, 30 Dragon Stones, and enough AGL orbs to rainbow an AGL unit. And there's also an extra mission, which gives you three more stones for clearing stage seven once. So in total, that's gonna be 33 Dragon Stones for the LR Goten and Trunks Extreme Z Battle event. Now, popping back to the unit itself, before the EZA, their leader skill is Super AGL types keep plus 4, HP is hacking defense plus 100%, and Extreme AGL types keep plus 2, HP is hacking defense plus 70%. Their super attack has a, well, their 12 key super has a 50% chance to either be fat go tanks or skinny go tanks. And if you become Fat Go Tanks, then it lowers own attack for one turn and causes colossal damage. And if you get Skinny Go Tanks, then you lower attack and defense for one turn and cause colossal damage. And then for the 18 key Super, there was a 70% chance for Super Saiyan 1 Go Tanks and a 30% chance for Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. So if you become Super Saiyan 1 Go Tanks, then it causes mega colossal damage and raises defense for one turn. And if you become a Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks, then you cause mega cost of damage and greatly raise attack and defense for one turn. And passive was key plus 3 to 9 randomly at start of turn, so you would get anywhere between 3 to 9 key, and then attack plus 120% when performing a super attack. So obviously it's a unit that has a lot of variants there's a lot of rng involved which is kind of a staple for all go tanks cards or most of them at least and that doesn't really change with the extremes the awakening although the variance is i would say smaller and it's also more positive right so uh after the eza their new leader skill is super agl types key plus four hp attack and defense plus 120 percent or extreme agl types key plus three HP attack and defense plus 90%. For the 12 key super, 50% chance for fat go tanks or skinny go tanks. But for fat go tanks, you will raise defense by 30% for one turn and cause colossal damage as opposed to lowering own attack. So it's actually a positive boost as opposed to a debuff, right? And then for the skinny go tanks, you're lowering own defense by 30% for one turn and causes colossal damage. So this one is still negative, but it's not as negative as before because pre extreme Z Awakening, Skinny Go Tanks would lower own attack and defense for one turn. 
but now with the EZA, it's only lower its own defense for one turn, so slightly better. And then for the 18 key super after the EZA, it's now a 50-50 chance for Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks or Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks before it was 70% for Super Saiyan 1 and 30% for Super Saiyan 3, right? And this is better because obviously you want to get the Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks more often uh, than the Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks. So for Super Saiyan 1 Gotenks, it's Mega Class of Damage and raises defense by 30% for one turn. And then Super Saiyan 3 Gotenks, Mega Class of Damage and greatly raises attack and defense for one turn. So the effects themselves don't actually change. Now, the passive is key plus 5 to 10 randomly at the start of each turn, as opposed to key plus 3 to 9 randomly before the EZA, right? And then, attack and defense plus 150% when performing a super attack, plus an additional attack plus 50% if it is an ultra super attack, and medium chance of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks. So a pretty basic passive as far as today's standards go because we're used to having like essays for these new units passives, right? But this one is very short and sweet, but it makes them really, really good. Um, trust me when I say that these guys hit hard. They hit very hard. And defensively, they can actually get really tanky after they super. So. It's pretty obvious that this is not going to be a slot 1 unit. You don't want them to take any attacks before they get a chance to attack because they don't get any of the defense on their passive or on their super attacks before they super. So, um, yeah, not a viable slot 1 unit, which is unfortunate, but in slot 2 or slot 3, they are actually very tanky. And once again, they hit really, really hard. And I don't actually mind the you know, like 50% chance for fat go tanks or skinny go tanks or Super Saiyan 1 go tanks slash Super Saiyan 3 go tanks because I feel like that's really what makes this unit a lot of fun to use. But now at the very least, it can get a lot of defense on their super. They can hit even harder than they did before. Like they've always been known to be a hard hitting unit, right? But now they hit much, much harder and um, they're also even more self-sufficient for key. Like, even if you're only getting key plus 5 each turn, that's still a big key boost. And then sometimes you can get up to key plus 10, which is basically a guaranteed 18 key super, right? So, um, as a whole, I like this EZA a lot. I think it's very, very good. Um, I do wish that they were more viable as a slot 1 unit, but that's, I feel like, a bit of a nitpick as a whole. Just a really, really good... LR Extremes The Awakening, and uh, the criticism about how they don't have any viable linking partners is also not exactly true. I mean, we do have the STR Super Saiyan Goten and Trunks now from the Saiyan Day Celebration, and the uh, Tech Super Saiyan Goten has always been a good linking option, so um, you could definitely run a very good rotation with them. They don't have to be a slot 3 unit, and... Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say about them. I'm excited for this EZA. I can't wait to run them. Uh, they're almost at full max out links for me as well, so I could potentially do a max link showcase for once. And uh, yeah, that is the LR Goten and Trunks slash Mighty Mask Extremes The Awakening, guys. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about them. But before we go, I do have a bonus unit that we're gonna quickly cover, and that would be the free to play. Strike Tech Mighty Mask, which is also going to be getting an Extreme Z Awakening at the same time as the uh, AGL LR. So, uh, before the EZA, this guy's leader skill was AGL and Tech Types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 30%, super attack, supreme damage, and greatly lowers defense, and passive attack and defense plus 80%, attack and defense plus 30% when performing a super attack, plus an additional defense plus. 50% when facing only one enemy, plus an additional attack plus 50% when facing two or more enemies. With the Extreme Z Awakening, new leader skill, AGL and tech types, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 70%, super attack, raises attack and defense for one turn, and causes supreme damage and greatly lowers defense, and passive is attack and defense plus 100%, attack and defense plus 50% when performing a super attack, plus an additional defense plus 50% and medium chance 
of evading enemies' attacks, including super attacks, when facing only one enemy, plus an additional attack plus 50% and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when facing two or more enemies. So there you go, that is the tech for you to play Mighty Mats Extremes the Awakening. Obviously, his numbers are not going to be super impressive, but for a free to play unit, he's going to be a good filler for some teams that you need that extra unit on, like uh, World Tournament or Majin Buu Saga. I guess those are the only two options. But anyways, that is the Mighty Mask, and that's going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.